Rice Gum. Most people know this guy for being a YouTube sensation and his diss tracks. However, as of lately, he's been playing in a lot of basketball videos. He's been doing good and he's undefeated. But playing basketball for YouTube and playing basketball for a high school team or just in general is two completely different things. For YouTube, you can edit out all of your mistakes. In high school basketball, you cannot. So how good was RiceGum at basketball in high school? Basketball videos and one-on-ones with other YouTubers have really been popular over the past couple of years. And people constantly debate who's the best basketball YouTuber. And it's not only the fans, even the YouTuber wants that top spot. And as of lately, RiceGum has definitely put his name in that conversation. But how good is Rice Gum without the cameras on and how good was he in high school? And today, I'm just here to explain to y'all his story. To get into Rice Gum's story, we gotta throw it all the way back to where things started. Brian Quang Lee, that is Rice Gum's actual name if y'all did not know. He was born on November 19th in 1996. Before this guy started making YouTube videos, he was actually like your normal kid. He was very involved in sports and especially basketball. He attended Sierra Vista High School and he played basketball for the team. And going by off of his YouTube videos, you would think he was pretty good. I did a lot of researching on him and I really could not find a lot of high school footage of him playing. However, I did in fact find his stats. He never really got any meaningful playing time his freshman and sophomore year, but his junior year he did. As a junior, he appeared and played in 22 games for his team. But Ricegum only averaged a lousy 2.4 points per game. 2.4. That's not so good. Going by off of his YouTube videos, you would definitely think he averages more than that per game, but YouTube videos are deceiving. Hear me out. You guys, you are only seeing the highlights in the videos. You're not seeing most of his misses. He also pitched in 0.7 assists per game and 2.5 rebounds. And for his junior season, he scored a total of 53 points. Those 2.4 points per game actually helped lead his team to an 8-18 eight and 18 record. I mean, hey, it could have been worse, I guess. If you went by his stats, he was most definitely not the best player, but he did not lack confidence. Even to this day, he actually claims that he was still a good player back in high school. In 2016, he tweeted out this picture of him and said, I was the basketball player that banged all the cheerleaders. Now, I know he's joking in this picture. Well, I hope he's joking because that most definitely did not happen. Either way or anyways, the confidence that Ricegum has now, it definitely just didn't appear. It was something he was born with. So you know when he played in high school, he had that same amount of confidence. 2.4 points per game though, that's pretty impressive. I mean, that's almost a 99 overall in 2K, man. If you're just a casual basketball fan and you see his YouTube videos, you would assume that he's actually pretty good at basketball. But for my real hoopers out there, you know that this guy was not that good. It's no hate to him whatsoever, but in all the videos, all he does is shoot. He drives occasionally, but he's only six foot one, so that wouldn't really work in a real game a lot. And in a real game, the defense is going to be all over you. They're not just going to sit back and let you shoot, and that's what he's really good at. So, therefore, when you take that away, his game is very much not there. And hence, that is why he only averaged under three points a game. Like I said, I'm not hating on him, but numbers don't lie. And for his senior year, this is when he really started making the transition over to YouTube and basketball wasn't really important to him anymore. For a guy that just plays every now and then for videos, I will say that he's pretty good and he does have a really nice shot. But as for a guy that's a legit hooper and can go up against competition and put up real legit numbers, yeah, that's not happening. Rice Gum was not the best basketball player in high school and the numbers do not lie. Averaging 2.4 points per game is not good at all. But as for a YouTuber playing basketball, he's undefeated in all of his matches and he's looking like a legit player. But hey man, with all this being said, that's about gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you guys learned something. If you are new to the channel, what are you doing? Join the family and hit that subscribe button and leave a like for more. And as always, let's be great. I'm out y'all, peace.